So you thinking about starting a junk removal business, huh? Maybe getting you a big, nice truck like this. Looking to leave that nine to five, start your own business, become an entrepreneur, make six figures, maybe even seven. But you're trying to figure out what's the next steps to take, what's the right moves to make, how much money do you need in the bank? How do you even get this thing going? Well, you came to the right place. We're gonna hop into all that today. We're gonna hop into what kind of truck you need. How much money do you need to get started? What tools do you need? Is it the right business for you? But first things first, let's go ahead and head inside because I'm freezing my off. It's getting a little nippy. Heathens, what's going on, man? Welcome to my channel. One of the most requested videos ever. And I'm excited to do it, man. This is my take on how to start a drunk removal business. I have had so many people ask how to get it started. How did you do it? Just a couple short years ago, I was in the same boat. I'm here to help you guys. We're gonna go over any and everything you could think of. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Plenty of different ways to get it going. Plenty of different ways to get it started. I was able to work my way up here at just a year and a half. I was able to get this pretty thing here, where I'm at in my business and uh, how you guys can get there too. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Like the video if you in it this far. You done lasted a couple minutes you might as well like it. Subscribe, I don't hit that subscribe button. You coming back to watch them anyway. Now before we hop into the video, I have something special for you guys. As some of you know, I'm working on a program for the Junk Removal community and for you guys, building something tailored to exactly what this video is about, how to start a junk removal business. Working on that right now. Down in the description below, I have two things I'm offering right now that's gonna be part of the program that I'm letting go early. The pricing sheet, like no other, it's a PDF of anything and everything you can think of, how to price it, especially if you're getting started and you're still working on your pricing, you're losing money, you're doing jobs and you feel like you're not charging enough. Guys, that type of thing can cost you hundreds if not thousands of dollars. There's a PDF down below of a pricing sheet of what I use that many of my subscribers have bought at this point and I'm gonna make that available for you guys right now along with an email template that I send all my potential commercial clients when I'm going out to get contracts at assisted livings, storage unit businesses, apartment complexes, property managers. That template is available down low as well. It's a package bundle, guys. The first 50 people to purchase it will get $50 off. Um, you'll know if you're one of the first 50 people because it'll have a slash to the price. These two things right here could save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars, especially especially when you're getting started. If you're just now starting your business in 2023 or you have just a few months ago, you're going through the trials and tribulations, learning, spend hundreds now to save you thousands down the road. Because the last thing you ever wanna do is get a big hoarder job that's probably a $15,000 job and you done went and bidded it at 5,000 and before you know it, you done lost money on it. We don't want that to happen. I made that available for you guys down low. Get those two things right now. Get 2023 off to a great start. Now let's hop into the video. What do you know about junk removal? What is junk removal? Guys, junk removal is a business where you go to someone's home and or business and pick up their junk. It's just that simple, you know what I mean? You're a valet trash service. You're a garbage man, that's what you are. So what would be classified as junk? Anything, no, literally anything. If someone wants their couch gone, if someone wants an old TV gone, if someone's relative passes away and they have a whole house full of trash, garbage, TV, sofas, desk, whatever the case may be, your service will offer to come and pick that up for a fee. That's what junk removal is. Junk removal can be a very, very lucrative business. No lie on that. But it can also be a very, very disgusting and nasty business and sometimes dangerous. You are moving heavy machinery. You're working with power tools, whether that's drills, sawzall, whatever the case may be. You're driving big trucks. There's always a liability being out on the street with people driving, you driving. These are all things that come with junk removal. Now junk removal really kind of exploded during the time period of COVID. A lot of people were at home, just got laid off from their jobs and looking for opportunities and ways to make money and junk removal was there to save the day. A lot of people found out about it. I started my business right around two years ago in the midst of COVID. I'm definitely one of those people. I didn't get laid off by my job, but I did work through the current job I had to start my business. Junk removal is a business where you can make six figures your first year if you do it right. Junk removal is also a business where you can be really busy at one time and really dead at one time. You know, it goes both ways. It all has to do with how you run your business, what your hustle and what your work ethic is like. Never get that twisted. I don't care what nobody tells you. It's all on you. So one of the first things you're gonna have to decide is, what are you gonna use to go around and get this junk? There's four options. Option number one and the most basic, a truck or SUV. You can use the bed of your truck or your SUV to go around picking up junk. Now, some pros with that is it's very easy. It's not gonna cost you anything because you usually already have a truck or an SUV or you can trade to get one. And you can go around and pick up single items like old TVs, furniture, and small debris jobs. 
Very easy, very, very low barrier of entry. You don't have to have any money to get started. You just need a truck or an SUV to go pick these things up. So if someone calls you and says, hi, I have a sofa I need removed. What size is that sofa? Oh, it's a regular three seater in my living room. Okay. I can come and do that. It'll, it'll be around $120 to $150. I can be there by noon. That's how that would go. You make $120, $150 in about five to 10 minutes and you're on your way. That's option number one. Option number two is a truck and trailer. Guys, that is what I started out with. I think that this is the best option. I started off with a truck and dump trailer. You can also start off with a truck and a standard trailer. A dump trailer is a trailer that usually has built up walls. Not always though, but it's a trailer that you hit a button and it raises up like this and it lowers right back down. It's a lot more time effective but it's much more costly than having a standard trailer uh, that doesn't do that. But you may save thousands of dollars um, because a dump trailer usually is gonna range you anywhere from 6,000 and up, most ranging around the nine to $14,000 range. That's option two. With the standard trailers, they usually start around $800 and up, I would say, uh, a pretty good one to have would probably be around $1,200 to $2,500 for one of those. And then you can always build up the sides of the walls with uh, plywood or whatever you may use to get those sides built up so you can fit more in there and charge more. That's option two. Option three, a box truck. You can fit any and everything in there. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, like a U-Haul truck, Penske truck. That's what we're talking about. You can fit 15 cars inside of there if you want to. I have never used a box truck, but there's other people on here that started off with a box truck with great videos and show you how to go and get it done. You can find box trucks sometimes fairly cheap, starting at around $5,000, $6,000. Most ranging probably around the 10 to $20,000 mark for used. And option number four is the dump truck that you guys saw earlier in the video. That's when you're playing in the big dog stadium. That's when you've established yourself or you have a lot of funds in the bank and you wanna come out firing on all cylinders. You go get you a dump truck and play with the big boys like Big Blue and Big Red and all those other people out there. So those are your top four options to start your junk removal business. First things first, you have to figure out what are you going to use to go and get the junk. The very first option is the most budget friendly. The very top option is gonna cost you some money. What kind of money you got in the bank? The second thing you need to figure out, actually, number two, I'm gonna put it number one, because before you do anything, you need to figure out, is junk removal going to be a good business to start in the area that you live in or that you want to operate in? So that, that needs to be number one over what I just said. Is junk removal, going to be a good business to start where you live or in the area you wanna operate. Most areas, it's a great business to start. No matter where you're at, whether you're in a big city, where you're in a rural area, usually a pretty safe and good business to start, just like landscaping is, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes you live in a wealthy area and your city offers people like waste management to pick up any kind of bulk items or anything of the nature where you don't have to pay for it. Your city will offer it. Now that happens probably I would say about 10% of the time, but it does happen. So you need to check and see, is there any other big companies like 1-800-GOT-JUNK, Junk King, College Chunks Hall and Junk, is there anybody else within your about a 45 to 50 minute radius of where you're at? Because that'll usually let you know if there's a market for it. So although you may not have the big competitors there, if they're not there, there may be a reason that they're not there. So you need to figure out, does your city pick up bulk items? Do they have a bulk item day each week or each month? Do they come and take old refrigerators? Do they, you know, figure out what your city takes for free and make sure that it's a good place for you to start your business. Because the last thing you wanna do is invest a lot of money to get started and have a dream. And it's not something that's gonna last. Number three. Are you gonna be the one doing the work or are you gonna have employees doing the work? Most people are gonna hop into the game and do the work themselves and have a helper or have one employee. At the end of the day, I think that is the best option for anybody hopping in the game is getting out there in the field and figuring out what junk removal is. Whether you do it for three months or whether you do it for three years, you need to get out there and understand what junk removal is about. That way you can coach and teach to it. There's nothing worse than having a leader in a certain field. We've all had bosses or leaders in the past with our jobs where they've never been in the position that we are in and therefore they don't understand the things we go through. They don't know how to coach to it. It's not relatable. And it's really hard to follow them as a leader because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. You don't want to be that person. So put your big boy or girl shorts on, throw you some boots on and get out there in the field and learn what junk removal is about. Whether you have one employee or a few employees starting off. Now, that's also going to depend on what kind of budget you have in the beginning, because if you have, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars in the bank, you start off with a dump truck, you start out with brand new uniforms, you have a place to keep everything and everything like that, you'll probably start off hiring a couple of people because your budget's going to be higher for advertising, you're going to hire a, uh, you're going to hire a marketing team. You know, you're going to have a lot more funds to put in in your local papers or however you do your advertising. So number 4, 
Make sure you get out in that field and you learn what junk removal is about and also find that one person that can come and help you and do jobs, whether that's a family member, a brother or sister, a husband or wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be, have at least one person that can work with you most of the time or else it's gonna be very, very difficult to grow and scale your business and for people to take you seriously because anytime somebody needs an item gone or they wanna clean out and you show up by yourself um, and you offer them a discount if they'll help you, nobody's ever gonna take you serious. You're not gonna get the reviews you want. You're not gonna make the money you want. You're gonna be wondering like, why the hell did Joe Schmo come down the street six months after I started and they're already booming before me? And that's no bash on anyone. Sometimes you have to do that to get started, but you need to understand what comes with that. So number four, find that person. Number five, to get started in this business, you're gonna have to get you some tools. Now, I have a tool video showing you every tool you'll need in your junk removal business down below in the description. You don't need a whole lot. All right, and you're gonna ask, why do you need a handsaw? Why do you need a sawzall? Because guys, junk removal also includes things like light demolition, so hot tub removals, deck removals, fence removals, swimming pool removals. A lot of that stuff sometimes has to be cut up, especially like hot tubs, the fiberglass. You gotta get down in there and cut it out. When people, it's old and it's rotted and you gotta get it out of there, you gotta cut up the hot tub a lot of the times and you'll need stuff like sawzalls. You'll need things like pry bars. Pry bars your best friend in junk removal, used for multiple things. You'll need things like gloves to cover and protect your hands. You guys, sometimes you'll get in some of these hoarder clean outs and you'll see things that you never thought you would see in your worst nightmare in there. You do not wanna to touch that stuff with your bare hands. You wanna make sure that you're taking safety precautions, put them gloves on, trust me. Like I said, the tools video is down below, it goes much more in depth to let you know exactly what you need and why you need it. And keep in mind, these things aren't in exact order. I'm just going down the column of everything that I wish I would have known starting a junk removal business. Um, the only thing that's in order is what I said for number one, and that is knowing your area and how to get started. Number six, as you're getting all your necessities together, you're learning your area, you're getting all your tools, you're getting your truck or your trailer or both. As you're getting all these things together, it's very, very important to start building some brand awareness. You need to get you some shirts made and some hats. You need to have a uniform. If you're over the top like me, I had a full uniform when we started. Black pants, black boots, shirt, hat, ready to go, tucked in, whatever the case may be. You don't have to do all that, but you definitely need to get shirts and hats to get your business going. You wanna get that brand awareness out there. I don't give a damn if you're going to eat at Ruth's Chris or you're going to take your kid to the park. You have your uniform on, you have your shirt on at least. Everywhere you go, you, the most important thing in your life is to get your business known by everyone in your community. Yes, you have paid marketing, you have paid advertising, which we'll get into in a little bit. At the end of the day, you need to be getting out there and letting your community know about you. Whether you just start off with basic t-shirts with your logo on there and just a plain hat, however you have to start, that all depends on where your budget's at, but you need to get out there and get seen. Piggybacking off of that, you need to get a website going. Now there's free website builders like Wix, GoDaddy, WordPress, all these different ones. You don't necessarily need to be tech savvy to get your website up and going. Um, it's actually pretty simple if you use one of those sites, get your domain, which is www.junkremoval.com or whatever the case may be, and get your logo up there and create that website and get it in place. It doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning, but you need to have something where you can send people to see what you offer. Google My Business, there's other videos on it out there. I'm not gonna go too far deep into it but it's a pretty simple process google my business now guys i hope you've enjoyed this video so far i tried to keep this video very simple with all the necessities that you'll need to get your business up and going and for you to be successful in 2023 starting your brand new junk removal business i know some of you are working nine to fives i know some of you just want something new you may have a business right now that's not working out junk removal is a great business to hop into some people say it's oversaturated because it's newer and all this that and the other junk removal is not oversaturated you just have to work your butt off to achieve success like anything else if you're just getting started don't forget down below i have the package deal for the pricing sheet and the email template that's going to win you commercial clients and that can save you thousands of dollars from misquoting when you're starting off in the business if you're misquoting jobs you're losing out on hundreds if not thousands of dollars invest down below to save you that money i'm excited for 2023 i hope nothing but wealth and success to you and yours guys if you need anything you can always dm me on instagram at fly by sky don't forget to like and subscribe to video if i left anything out mention it down below i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited big things coming big thing coming little things right i can't lie i'm too fly and you know who they're doing it See, that's why I don't even do it. That's why I don't even do it.